Hey guys, and welcome back to another story from Tales Against Humanity. And today we're going to talk about the story from Newbie solves a month's old head scratcher problem in minutes, gets his victory dance. Or the importance of a fresh pair of eyes on a problem. During the team Zoom meeting earlier today, right at the end of the meeting in any other business section, one of my colleagues who's been there for years knows the data centre inside out, etc., raised an important issue. Actually, two of them. So we have a trio of Dell rack servers that are randomly shutting down. No rhyme or reason to it during OS installs under normal load while doing nothing. Two days, two hours, two weeks, totally random. Even more curious, the OS IGL is shutting down, but there is absolutely no reason given. The system logs acknowledge the shutdown, but nothing before indicates what the reason is. They don't reboot, they shut down cold. At this point, I've been with the company for six months as a Linux sysadmin, passed probation this month, but haven't really contributed a lot due to starting during COVID lockdown. So I offer my input as I know Linux fairly inside out by now. The boss acknowledges and offers the task to me. I learn that the problem has been ongoing since August. There are two internal tickets involving several people, all trying different things. Reinstalling the OS, dialing up the monitoring, upgrading the OS to the new, newer release, changes in the BIOS, nothing seems to help. One of the trio came back immediately and has been fine since, but the other two continue to fail randomly. Tickets are raised with Dell, Dell requests we run hardware diagnostics and send them the output. Dell draw a blank. They keep poking us, asking if the machines are stable yet clearly wanting to close the tickets, but we keep the tickets open and the servers keep crashing unpredictably. So the first thing that springs to mind, me fairly, me being fairly exp experienced with hardware as well, is that random shutdown problems are frequently temperature related. One of the people involved in the problem also suggests temperatures, but there's nothing in the OS logs to suggest thermal shutdowns. Well, they're rack mounts, let's go a level higher. Figure out which machine is which and jump on the IDRAC ILO interface. Logs it in are equally sparse. The logs indicate shutdown occurred at the same time as the OS but doesn't give a reason. Just reason SYS1003 for shutdown. Ok, how about temperatures? There's a thermals power tab, so that's my next stop. On the temperature monitor everything looks normal. Interestingly, it logs the readings from the intake air temperature for over a year. I download the complete logs as a CSV. Opening in LibreOffice, I see three columns, timestamp, average, and peak degree C for one hour intervals. Without even scrolling down on the first machine, the problem is instantly visible. Line one, after the headers. Minus 128, minus 128, Thursday, April 21. 10.01.05.2016 Well, that sure as heck doesn't look invalid, does it? Scroll down to the times indicated in the ticket, right around the time the machine shuts down. Guess what? Minus 128, minus 128, Thursday, August 20, 10.01, 21, 20. And there's hundreds of these readings, scattered over four years of logs, but there... Clear as day, sometimes just once, sometimes for 12 hours straight. So just like that, mystery solved, faulty temperature sensor. I opened up the other two machines and it's the same story. Minus 128 degrees C right around each time the machine shut down. Evidently the ID rack is receiving the faulty temperature signal, calculating that it's below the minimum threshold and sending an ACPI shutdown signal to the server. I report my findings, update the tickets of the logs and sit back as people respond with a surprise, both that Dell couldn't figure this out and that they didn't notice. My total spent for all three machines less than 50 min 15 minutes. The original investigator goes back to Dell on the email thread and copy pastes my diagnosis straight to them, see seeing me so I'll get to watch them squirm as well. I took a look at the hardware diagnostics file we sent to them, picking apart the dot .zip Sure enough, I find thermals.zip in one of the folders, and for reasons science cannot explain, the files within are encrypted. I mean, what? Logs are all in plain text, all the machine specs are in XML or JSON, 
but the temperature's diagnostics are encrypted. So for anyone wondering why Dell support is particularly hit and miss, and also how satisfying it is to jump in and solve a problem in minutes, I now know both pretty well.